And we begin with a developing story out of downtown San Diego where a shooting left one person dead and another one injured. An investigation is underway as police actively look for that gunman. And Fox 5's Jamie Chambers has been there throughout the afternoon. He joins us live from the area with the latest. Jamie. Yeah, guys, the killer is still on the loose here in downtown, but they do believe that he's uh, ran just northbound here on 10th Street. They're working through the information, but if you take a look behind us, you've got uh, homicide investigators out here throughout this afternoon, really trying to dig into the evidence and understand exactly what took place. They do know that something happened at the Central Library, essentially the heart of San Diego, and that's when half dozen shots were fired. One person was dead. Another was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries, but still trying to process exactly all how this transpired. We spoke to Lieutenant Judd Campbell about what they know. This is what he had to say. There's some sort of uh, interaction at right in the foyer of the library, right in the entrance, um, during which our suspect produced a firearm and began firing at the people that were there, obviously striking two of them. We have a very limited description of our suspect right now. Uh, the best I can give you is a black male in dark clothing, unknown age. Uh, however, you know, as you can all see, there's quite a bit of video and quite a bit of uh, investigative things we can do here to hopefully get that person identified and get them in custody. Now, we have actually seen some of that video, some of that surveillance video. We hope to bring that to you uh, shortly here, but see that pink uh, that's a pink ski mask that was dropped during this uh, run by with this suspect that was running out of the area. The rest of the video shows the person wearing all black clothes running uh, just full out in that process. So we're still trying to understand exactly what took place in the video that we've seen. The man's face is completely covered, but because the mask does come off and there are many, many more camera angles through these downtown streets, investigators are hopeful they'll be able to identify this person and they say that the amount of officers that are downtown right now should reassure the public that they are working this as a top priority case. That's the very latest from downtown. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. That video will no doubt help.